Hi guys and welcome to my daily cocktail blog. Today I'm going to show you how to make three alternatives to the classic G&T. Well, I've actually slipped in a fourth one there, but for some reason I like working in odd numbers, so the title of the video had to be three alternatives. Today for all of them I'm just going to be using Heyman's, uh, which is a dry gin. So first up, I'm going to show you how to make Simon's G&T, which is named after Simon Ford, uh, who was a producer of gin, I believe in the States produced in the States, anyone comment below and confirm that. Um, and it's just essentially uh, a gin and tonic with the addition of dry vermouth. So I've got a shot and a half. So 45 mils. I fill this glass with ice as well. And then dry vermouth. So today I'm using the Dino. And just add 15 mils. Then I'm going to use Bigfoot's tonic. If you're a G&T drinker, just make sure you always buy like a nice boutique tonic water. It makes a world of difference. So say 120 mils of tonic water. And then I'm going to garnish with a lemon twist. So I've got a zest and I'll just wrap it around a straw. So you just want to sort of wrap around the straw, give it a bit of a squeeze so it'll retain that shape. And then add it over the top. So there's the first one, a Simon's G&T. I'll just give it a quick stir and then set that one aside. So now we have an Italian G&T. So this one calls for a double shot. 60 mils of gin. Of course you can use whatever your preferred gin is. And then we've got, of course, Campari, Italian GNT, you probably could have guessed. So 15 Campari, so it's gonna add a lot of bitter notes to this GNT and then a sweet vermouth, otherwise known as an Italian vermouth. Oh, love this one. So this is Antica formula. And just add half a shot, 15 mils, to add a little bit of sweetness to it. Now fill it up with ice. And with this one, I'm gonna use East Imperial Tonic. And just give it a quick stir. And because it's got those bitter flavors, I want to use a bit of fruit for a garnish and I'll put a dehydrated piece of ruby red grapefruit in there. So that's the Italian g &T. that's number two. Now number three is the sherry and tonic. I'm pretty sure I said they all included gin, but this one, I lied, it doesn't. So this one has 90 mils of almond, I always stuff this one up, Amontillado Sherry. So three shots. Remember that sherry isn't overly strong, so need to add a little bit extra in for some strength. And Amontillado Sherry is a dry sherry, so if you wanted to, you could probably swap it out for something like a Fino. Then sugar syrup, so just a bar spoon, five, five mils of this one. sort of counterbalance that, that dryness from the sherry. And then two dashes of orange bitters. Then fill it with ice. Then a splash of tonic water. Just give it a quick stir. And for garnish, I'm gonna add an orange wheel and then a sprig of mint. So there you have the third one, the sherry and tonic. So this bonus alternative is essentially just a G&T. The only difference is I'm gonna use a tonic syrup with soda rather than a bottled tonic. So if you are a big G&T fan, if you, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are aware of tonic syrups, but if you're not, make sure you invest in a bottle and try it. You, 
I swear by it and you won't go back. Uh, and then also make sure you subscribe because one of my later videos, I'll show you how to make your own homemade tonic syrup and therefore you can tweak it to your own taste. So fill the glass with ice. And then this one here, I've got a couple actually uh, from my personal collection. This is Bradley's Kina tonic uh, and then Thomas tonic as well. Uh, both really popular, probably the bigger ones in the market. So according to the back of the label, it's one part tonic, two parts spirit, and then three parts seltzer or, or soda water. So, I've had this one for a while, so it's got a bit of sediment in it. Uh, so 30 mils, oh, well, that looks black. It's flavor. So 30 mils in, straight into the glass over ice. And then the dry gin. So two parts. So a double shot. And then I'll just top that up with ice. Then soda. Ooh. So I will measure it out. So three shots, 90 mils, but generally I'll just pour it straight in. So it's probably about 30, 45 mils short from the top. So to keep the ratios right, it's probably a good thing that I measured it. Usually when you use a tonic syrup, it probably comes up more of a sort of a red color. This is, the syrup is old, so <laughs> it'll be interesting once I give it a taste. When I'm making a g and with tonic syrups, I often like to give it a little bit of a squeeze of lemon juice as well. But I'll leave it as is and just garnish with a Wheel of lemon for this one. So there you have three plus one GNT alternatives. So we have Simon's GNT, the Italian GNT, uh, the sherry and tonic, and a classic GNT with the use of a tonic syrup as opposed to bottled tonic water. So I think I'm definitely catching an Uber home because there's about eight shots in these uh, four drinks here. Uh, so first up, the Simon's GNT. So essentially a gin and tonic with dry vermouth. Very similar to a classic GNT, just that there's additional botanicals from that dry vermouth. Um, and yeah, it's it's just and well, it's, it's drier so. It's interesting, it's intriguing, but I'd probably say I prefer to stay with the classic GNT than that one. Next up, Italian GNT. So Campari and sweet vermouth, a little bit of sweetness and some bitter notes. Yeah, I definitely can taste that Campari. If you like gin and tonics and you like Negronis, then you'll love this one. Delicious. I really like sherry drinks, but I personally probably prefer a sweeter style sherry, so here goes. Wow, very light. I think maybe a little bit more sugar touch. Yeah, that's a spot. Definitely can t taste the sherry in that one. Bit of a, um, a nutty flavour to it. And this, I think, I'm gonna take a guess, uh, this is probably gonna be my pick out of the four, uh, simply because the tonic syrup has a higher sugar content and a sweet tooth. 
Bella. That is such a good GT. As I mentioned before, if you're gin and tonic fan, make sure you get a bottle of the tonic syrup, uh, Thomas uh, Bradley's Kena Tonic. They're both really popular ones. I'll leave a link below uh, to somewhere you, where you should be able to buy it. I know uh, only bitters stocked in Australia, but that's fantastic. As I said, I usually like a squeeze of citrus in there as well. Anyways, probably time to call an Uber. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for another cocktail video. Cheers.